Okay guys, this is how the insides of the US Embassy looks like. Why am I able to see this magnificent view? It's because I'm in this unit of Aria residence. Roads coming in are very very wide so for visitors we're turning down this is how it looks like uh, it really it looks like a, it feels like a hotel you know, I like the wide entry I, I, I like condos or residences where after you come in from the guard house the roads are wide the turn into the parking is like this as well wide and easy to turn And we have to thank Miss Bernice for bringing us to visit the unit. Okay, oh, there are 45 floors over here. Nice finishing. Came up from the units that are facing the back. Look at the lobby. Now, there are two towers. Every tower has a front facing and rear facing. Every facing has one of their own lobby like that. How nice is that? And look at the ceiling height of this. This is exactly like a hotel. And you look at the finishing. Oh, I just love, you know, all these high-end expensive condos. Very, very nice finishing all around. Okay, let's go to the lobby that was supposed to go up. So you can see this is one tower. And one tower would have back-facing and front-facing lobbies. And every lobby has four lifts. That means each tower has eight lifts. This allows people to just go to the facing that they stay in, right? That's area. And very nice wide berth of roads as you come in and drop off passengers. I like condos or residences that are like that. And this is just so nice. It feels just like a hotel, doesn't it? Very, very nice. See, as the car come up, you turn around here. Okay, let's go to the ones that were supposed to go up from. So far, I'm liking it. So you have your own touch card. That's your private access to your own facing in your own block, okay? So in total, there are 500 over units here. They range from 600 over square feet to 1,500 square feet. But of course, it's already completed. Uh, most likely will be subsale or remaining units. Current today, we'll be seeing like those 1,100 square feet to 1,500 square feet units. All right, let's go. Okay, I, I'm now at level 13. As I come out, two lifts servicing three units. So that is pretty, pretty good, okay? And again, I like this type of paint finishing. There's a textured finish, and I really like this. It's extravagant, unneeded, but that's what luxury is about, right? Not necessarily needed, but very nice when it's there. And I particularly like this. Look at this. This is the type of old window that we used to have but it allows air to ventilate inside here. Let's go inside the unit and have a look. I shall take off my shoes. Yes. Okay, that's the foyer. Not very spacious, not enough space to put a pair of shoes or whatnot but it's very tall. Okay. Ooh, metal finish. Nice. Let's go in and have a look. Okay, as I step in from this exceptionally wide door. Alright, this is the entrance and they employ a design that is pretty open and placing all the rooms ar along the edges of the unit. This unit is 1,100 square feet. Okay, their design is using the living is over there. That is about, it's 14 feet wide, so it's a very wide living room. And then the usual layout of which a dining will be here. And then the island for preparation and then the kitchen bar table. 
which is not super big but this is how this unit is furnished now not every single unit here is fully furnished only some are furnished like that this you have to discuss with the agent or the nice lady Bernice who brought us up here today okay so you can, as you can see there's a dual sink here this is slightly smaller this is bigger and all of these are branded smack stuff okay it's proper stuff and then this one is really nice you can pull this out to wash the basin very convenient okay and all these lighting specs are really nice metal finishing okay these are nothing special okay the utilization of space over here is just all right i would say but then it's up to individual owner this particular unit is their show unit so it's really really nicely renovated the wallpaper right this top at the back and then the hop and hood is all from smack okay quality stuff designer stuff some may say okay and over here you have the fridge which is smack as well with some compartments here to put the stuff that you may need but be mindful this is a service residence in downtown KL so it's unlikely that you're gonna do like a full course meal over here right more like light cooking and all that now where's the yard there's a door here and that would be your washer and dryer and of course to service your air conditioning compressors can be accessed from here all right so the living room okay again this is downtown KL so don't expect a vast expanse of view out of your window right yes this is what living in downtown city area will be like and be it New York or Tokyo or Seoul it's gonna be the same right it's gonna look like that but as a unit down here I think the location wise the finishing from the lobby and all that quite all right centralized aircon in the living okay now over here as we walk from there to here you will have a toilet that is shared for visitors and all that and there's also a sliding door for this bedroom okay the sink is here the the, the basin is here there's a shower screen there's a little drop here all right and that's from toto okay so decent not super spacious but decent again this is not a very big unit right it's 1100 square feet all right i mean here you have the wooden floor tiles not tiles you know this wooden floor laminated and up here the ceiling is pretty high i think it's it should be 12 feet or if not it's 11 ish okay so this is the secondary bedroom with a plug on each side tv <laughs> don't think people still watch tvs in the room now air conditioning unit up here there's the fan full length um, curtain and the curtain rails are hidden up right up in there so that's the wardrobe it's integrated into the wall as you can see from here the wardrobe is flush so it doesn't take up any space into this room and over here this of course is from the wardrobe inside all right but it's nicely designed so that it feels like a structural wall from the principal bedroom or master bedroom all right this unit of course is renovated with a tv wall at the back so it hides all the wires all right and then behind the bed nicely finished costly stuff but it's already renovated so we don't need to spend a single cent renovating so yeah 
as a weekend home if you stay in Penang or you're from Ipoh, Johor, Sabah, Sarawak you know having a place here that's good enough okay and over here this wall houses the cabinet for this and this is another cabinet with a full length mirror all right and that's the bathroom with a tub mm. and the shower screen over here all right there's the toilet from Toto as well it's hidden beside behind this I, I don't know whether this is still a popular design but hey I I need a place to put my stuff when I you know so for units this size you really find like a full-blown hotel grid kind of toilet uh, this is your like a workstation yeah to be honest this unit is for a weekend home is a bit too big in my opinion and that's also why those units that are 600 over square feet were all sold out already this is almost suitable for a three-person family you know husband and wife and the kid it's big enough all right 1100 square feet or 1500 square feet units available from the developer at aria residences in downtown kl here okay and if you're interested we will actually include miss bernice her contact details in the link below all right and uh thank you so much for bringing me here bernice <laughs> we'll, we will look forward to visit more uh condos or residences all right <laughs>the insides of the u.s embassy looks like all right there you can see the swimming pool and that's of course the main building and there's a backyard over there the perimeter wall so i pass by here every morning it's so nice to be able to see it inside and that's the u.s flag hmm any cadillacs in there nope <laughs> It's mostly Japanese cars. Anyway, why am I able to see this magnificent view? It's because I'm in this unit, which is 1,502 square feet, square foot, of Aria residence. And there is the golf course. All right. And those are the mountain ranges of Ampang at the back there Gunting should be somewhere there if the skies are clearer okay as I turn back this unit is fully furnished straight from the developer and it has a very very nice layout all right the main door is over there as you come in from there that's the kitchen that's the bar top the island top here's the dining and while you're dining you are looking at this magnificent view okay that's the living and of course here would be the rooms there are three rooms because this is a 1500 square feet unit they can actually have three rooms and perfect for you know some families they just come to KL to stay for a week or two right a small little desk here with a little room for storage you can make a cabinet over here okay and of course because this was the show unit last time so the finishing of everything is just super very few people would run away to this level maybe they do okay so but it's out of my league so this is the first bedroom as you can see the height of the room um, rachel yeah. can you assist me and just stand there to show people how high the ceiling is. The no, show is six feet tall. Okay, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but it's more than double of a height. This, if I'm not wrong, is 12 feet. Should be there. Thank you. <laughs> so there's a cabinet over here. A wardrobe. So you can, as you can see, it's recessed into the wall. Looks like that, but actually 
it's made like this. this this is pretty nice all right it provides some privacy over here as well the dressing table full length mirror over here and of course the curtains will always be drawn if you're in downtown KL because like all city centers again it's the case of you look at me or I look at you all right that's nice size the doors are all solidly finished the quality of materials are there and it reflects the pricing all right that's this is the second bedroom this is slightly tighter when compared to the first one all right there's a wardrobe over here the bed this is just queen size but it can fit a king size no problem and very few people really do these these days i i wouldn't all right and here's the bathroom but it's packed with Toto as well nice is this a cabinet oh it's just a mirror with lights okay there are slimmer designs these days from china or you would just you would just rather do a full cabinet with mirror you know basically you don't need a single piece that is that big you can have one two three and you can open them that would be more practical i would say all right and the shower screen okay so that's the toilet in this unit let's come to the master bedroom principal bedroom this is really really nice all right the size of the room is wide and long and just now i thought as i walk in here i thought this is the mirror i thought this is a mirror and then okay yeah the mirror is over there you get a walk-in wardrobe plenty of storage space this is also a wardrobe as well very nice and the size of the bathroom again is huge hotel spec almost you know with a bathtub yeah all right so this is the largest unit here in aria residences downtown kl this is the 1502 square foot unit with three bedrooms all right so yep centralized aircon and over here would be the kitchen as i mentioned just now largely the same as that of the 1100 square foot unit for this side onwards all right this is of course the yard all right with the washer and dryer and yeah so as you can see it employs the kind of open concept when you do your stuff over here you can chit chat with your friends so i, I like this type where it's all just open that's how i renovated my house as well right i knock, knocked away the whole wall and you can just continue chit chatting with your friends while they're watching in the living room or at the dining and you're over here preparing your stuff all right but of course to host a big party in this kind of kitchen you should call grab all right <laughs> all right smack with smack as well and yep that's the overall view of aria residences hey guys i'm now at seventh floor the facilities area that will be the gym or the yoga area and here's a water gym i always like this but it would be nice if it is un under the sun right but there's no choice uh, this is like the spa where you sit in there in privacy oh there are two all right there's two sides so you get some form of privacy i like that you see when you come with your loved ones or what chilling here right you 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 ought to need some privacy right so that's we are now at seventh floor that's a children's playground pretty nice certainly nicer than my own condo and over here it looks like a children's wading pool right for kids to you know play around here in shallow waters ah i like this part i like this part it's under the sky instead of you know 
being secluded and then the air is very airy and the next building isn't too near I like that as well and here's a little lounge area where you can chit chat with your Tai Tais or something and there are plenty of lounge areas to sit on as well okay and here's the pool and I'm liking what I see but you rest for a while while you go oh this is like the, the, the area where you and your family can come here and just basically and I'm, I'm, I'm imagining this all right so I'm I'm not in my swimsuit of course let's say my other half is here or my friend is here right and I just want to sit around and chat with them all right and the person who's swimming you know so basically it's like a area where you can get close you know and they can put their their, their towel their stuffs over here all right instead of the usual you know pool beach chair so they can put their stuffs over here so after the swim they can just come in here dry themselves up from here and go up okay yeah this is the concept which is pretty innovative I haven't seen anything like that all right so these are like the the pits for you to shake yourself dry before you come up there are three pits in total <laughs> pretty interesting solution all right and it's an elegant solution mind you just that it 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 sort of I mean they, they better provide proper lighting or some fencing you know I that's pretty nice so if a family can hang out here or friends another one can be there again privacy here you can just lie around right and that would be the pool is the length is pretty good it's almost full length it's not full width but it's full length all right here you have some rounded so far to sit on that's a barbecue pit and that's like a community room maybe you can rent it to do something with it now the pool the distance from here and there is just nice basically i can roughly see you but i couldn't really see what you're doing here a little bit near but they have that fencing just to block it this is how most major city centers are like all the tall buildings are quite near to one another but to have something like that open air that's pretty good all right and this row of trees provide again type of privacy all right of course it would be nice if there is some form of like imagine that wall you know hanging here like that and then some walk through so it provides another layer of privacy because we're you know but it's all right it's pretty all right and what's good is that after your swim going back it's very near for this tower at least right so that's good and the restroom the waiting pool jacuzzi sauna everything is over there side all right so yeah this whole floor is facilities there's a little garden over here so when you had your little quarrel with your spouse you can come here and take a breath of fresh air take a leaf and then go back okay that's a joke all right there's a shower over here before the pool so yeah there's two towers one two two facings okay each side and there's a level that's connected okay and uh yeah so it's very nice okay so this is aria residences fully built they hand over the keys uh, two years ago and there are still some developer units all right guys I'm now at level 45 the basically the sky deck of Aria residences as you know if you are in downtown KL what you get is oh yes oh yes and they look huge because we're so near right so all the major towers are here and that's KLCC yeah 
so this is like the sky garden of course it's it's raining today uh <laughs> this drizzle has gone longer than it should now here this is level 45 oh, over that side there are some like lounge areas but downstairs is actually the like the games room meeting room you know facilities that you can make use of basically i love these trees i planted them in my garden but maintenance nightmare for my garden because of the leaves but here somebody else doing it for you then it's fine all right and this side is actually the view that i like because look at the of course it's blurred today because of you know everything is cloudy it's a, it's a cloudy day all right garden so some through here Get. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's like an open air. Hello, Rachel. Hello. Oh. Now this is pretty nice. This is nice. Imagine opening up all these doors, let the wind come in, and then just sitting here having a cup of tea or coffee. You get your beverages and all that. Just just chill here and look out there and just relax, right? So sometimes the reason we stay in condo is just look at this area. When you and your family is here, the entire place to yourself, the kind of seren serenity, you know, and it's yours to enjoy every single day. Yeah, somebody maintaining it. Yeah, I like this part. I like this part. It's, it's pretty high density over here, of course, right? There's a lot of exclusive residences popping up in downtown KL. But towards the fringes of it, right? This is Jalan Tun Raza. Towards the fringes of it, you will have this type of view. If you go further into downtown, that direction, nearer to KLCC, you'll be surrounded by tall buildings like that in, around your tower okay yeah so we're gonna gonna end the video here so we're, we're gonna do more of these we're gonna visit around uh, fully built projects like this and just check it out